I got my bag of nuts with me. Pause. Wait, hold up, Blake. You got me on the vlog with the hood. Hold up, Blake. No. Yeah, you was at the store? No. Yes, you was. I cannot stand wet socks. You know what? I think we will do a vlog today because I haven't done a vlog in a long freaking time. So good morning. It's Tight Shirt Terry Warfield and it is school time. The only kid left here is my baby girl. Say hi. Hi. What you eating? Waffles and strawberry milk. Daddy made you some strawberry milk? Ooh, let me see. Ooh, that looks yummy. That milk looks so yummy. Hey, we got a whole lot to do today. So I'm just going to take y'all throughout the day. Uh, let you see what the life is like of a dad and full-time content creator and all that stuff. So let's get it. There's my attack dog. Say hi to the camera. Say my name is Macho and I like pee on on every day. All right, you see, it's a busy itinerary for the day, yo. It's got to start with freaking coffee. I got two clients I need to call. Um, I still do photo and photography gigs on the side. I've been putting off these freaking emails for like three days that I really need to respond to. March is a busy month for me. I got three trips. I still got to confirm two of the flights, so that's on the menu for today. Today is leg day for the gym. I got to post this A74 one year video. I got credit card bills due. I need to film a reel for my Terry Warfield channel and my Kingdom Man uh, channel. I got to get dinner. Got to get the homework done with my daughter. Got coffee and got to get my haircut scheduled and still got to pick the kids up and all that stuff in between. So it's about to be a, a busy day, yo. Let's get it. You ready to go yet? No, I'm you know what Hurry up. Wake. Come to life, Thanos. <laughs> all right, so we are dropping Talia off at school. You ready? Listen, the boys actually get dropped off earlier in the morning, but I didn't make a decision I was gonna vlog until after I dropped them off. And my other baby girl is with her mom this week, so uh, that's why she's not in this video. And then I gotta take my stepdaughter to work after I drop Talia off at school. So it's always a busy morning of running around. But listen, I wanted to tell y'all what camera we use real quick while I drop. Well, give me my kisses real quick, give me kisses. Mm -hmm. Love you. Have a good day at school. Yeah, Remember, you are great and beautiful. And you are great and handsome. <laughs> have a blessed day. Have a blessed day. Uh, so, yeah, I'm using the Sony a7 IV with the Tamron 17 to 28 today. I don't like bringing my FX3 out for vlogs because it costs too freaking much, and I don't want to make the mistake of dropping it. And the a7 IV is expensive, too, but I would rather drop an a7 IV over a Sony FX3. So I usually reserve my FX3 for like what I need to shoot dedicated B-roll and then my talk ahead set up right now is actually the Lumix S5 Mark II. There she is coming, hey. Daddy. But anyways, uh, I did get my credit card bills paid. How about, Dad, love you? Daddy, I say blessed day to Mr. Fat Kid every day in his class. Okay, have a good day. Sister! She, she coming around. She's coming. She coming around, have a good day. But yeah, it's actually the S5 Mark II because I really like the colors out that camera and I love being able to have 6K open gate to reframe for like vertical content. So, uh, yeah, that's where we at. Got more work to do today though. Um. record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hey Brian, good morning. This is uh, Terry. Uh, so you told me to give you a call uh, just to discuss possibly uh, photographing an event and, re and recording a lecture for you. Uh, if you could give me a call back, my phone number is 216-551-2554. Thanks a lot. Well, he didn't answer. Look, I know all the creators want to show y'all the pretty side of being a creator, but this is the real side of being a content creator. It's cameras, batteries, microphones, more cameras, boxes, more cameras, Apple Watch bands, coffee, dirty clothes everywhere. Hey, I got to get my life together. Why is coffee so good? I don't even understand. But anyways, I'm losing my voice, but I want to give y'all an update because a lot of y'all know uh, about a year and a couple months ago, I lost my job. Now, um, right after I lost my job, I had picked up a pretty pretty significant editing contract that brought in probably 
like 65% of my income, well, I lost it. <laughs> so uh, the longest short of it is right now I am a full-time content creator. So I'm strictly reliant on YouTube, uh, brand deals, ad revenue, and the occasional side job when it comes to photography and video. And God willing, I've been able to make a killing so far and I'm very, very thankful about that. But you know, it's an, un it's an unsettling place because you gotta really think forward. You really gotta be mindful about your spending and taxes and all this other stuff, which I'm totally not good at. Uh, but neither here nor there, God has made a way so far. So while we on that subject, of God, uh, let's talk about this kingdom man thing right now. I know a lot, this ain't gonna be a lot of y'all cup of tea and I'm totally okay with that. But I wanna explain what it is because it is a major part of my life right now. I still obviously got my Terry Warfield stuff going on. Uh, but I'm gonna be honest, man, the last six months of my life um, has absolutely sucked, like totally sucked. And the uh, majority of it is my fault, right? Uh, and, I, and I'm okay with that. I'm growing, I'm becoming a better person in a lot of different ways. Uh, but with that being said, I, I feel like God told me to hey, use what you're going through. And I don't mean to make this all spiritual for y'all who, are, who aren't believers, but um, I feel like God told me to use what you're going through to help other people. Uh, so right now, I'm still in the thick of it. It still sucks. But I'm trying to use my testimony as a uh, as words of encouragement to other men who might be suffering from the same type of issues or anything like that, who, or maybe who just needs some encouragement, period. So that's what Kingdom Man is all about. So uh, it's in a few different places. I, I try not to like promote it and stuff because I want it to remain pure. I don't want to be chasing vanity metrics and stuff on that channel because it is all about empowerment and using God to empower people. But if you are interested, it is on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. Uh, TikTok is where I post all the shorts at. I'll put that right below. Uh, Instagram, I also post shorts, photos, right below and uh, on YouTube I'll put that right below also so y'all make sure y'all hit me up on there too but anyways those clients didn't answer the phone so on to getting these emails done and I got to try to crunch all this stuff in man it's a lot of stuff to do in one day but thankful for the opportunity to be able to get it let's do it all right we back on the move again I'm taking my stepdaughter to work yeah, over there in her zone listening to music. Listen, I be in a whole lot of trash, y'all. Look what's in my car. I got to do better. So anyways, I'm going to drop her off at work. And then while I'm over here, I'm going to go ahead and get a car wash. But I need to really improve my diet again. I got my bag of nuts with me. Pause. I ate a banana this morning. Major pause. And I got my water with me. So uh, today starts my streak of getting back on my clean eating, man. I've been, I've been dirty eating because it's stress and all that stuff. But it ain't never too late. To restart and uh you know repurpose refuel rededicate to whatever it is in your life so today is the day let's get it hey i got my guys on uh we this, these are my guys man we talk all day every day say what up y'all my boy cj unplug CK tv Hey, I want to give a special shout out to my dude CJ because we was all in this thing like we bought the vlog and all this stuff And we all kind of let it go And a couple days ago CJ kind of reignited that fire for me uh, to start vlogging So CJ is the reason why y'all watching this right now So big shout out to CJ right here and my guys Devin man much love two of the realest cats I know man I much love y'all <laughs> Yeah, hit, hit that subscribe button on it Gotta make some fuel real quick. Gross. I had to get some food in me. So listen, this whole morning I've been complaining about this video not being approved to release and I forgot, I ain't even got a freaking thumbnail. Thankfully, I got A7 IV thumbnails on deck. I'm about to flip this around. Let me know if y'all like any of these or I'm thinking maybe should I shoot like a moody one on the table, hold on. Yeah, I don't know. That's a possible. That's a possible. That's a possible. Mm. Or we got one of these. Oh, one of these might work. I think we can roll with one of these. All right, so I decided on a thumbnail. This is the basis. Hold up. 
All right, so I just got to add a little bit of sauce, but I think it's going to be a dope thumbnail, but I don't think I'm about to get approval today to post this video. So I'm actually going to shift gears and we're going to go ahead and knock the gym out right now. Now, the good thing about the gym is we get to have another cup of coffee before the gym. So as you see, it is shrinking and we're about to check off gym off of there. So let's go ahead and get some more coffee and then get to the gym and get this leg workout in. My Apple Watch Ultra is finally charged up. I made a bunch of videos on this thing. You know what? I'm gonna just put it up in the corner right now. Leg day is upon us. I just finished chopping some legs down. I'm smoked. Gotta go get the kids from uh, from school. So let's do it. Messing with y'all, I done left my ND filter at home. So y'all just gonna have to live with a little bit of crank shutter for a while. <laughs> oh man, I'm smoked. Huh? Why you, what you nope. bums was doing? What, what was you doing? Huh, at the store? No. Nope. Yeah, you was at the store? No. Yes, she was. I'm joking. Yes, she was. 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 How was school? Good, good. How was school? How, come on, we gotta get the girls, come on. Yeah, I was dope. How was school? Good. How was school? Good. How was school? Good. All right, I'll see you later. All right, I got most of the gang, as you see, Germany had to go to her mom. But I'm going to use Deuce for a lesson today for all of you teenagers and stuff who might be watching. So Deuce and Kenny went to the store, right? They went to the store sometimes after school. You're not in trouble, dude. Get out of here. So I said, what was y'all doing? Deuce said nothing. I said, what was you doing? It's like we was at the store, and then we see two little boys walking from the store. So I'm like, you was with them? He was like, yeah. He was like, they was about to steal something. I was like, they was about to steal something. Um, and he was like, yeah. I'm like, well, you can't be around that type of stuff. He was like, well, I wasn't about to steal nothing. I'm like, I never said you was about to steal anything. I know you're not gonna steal nothing. These are, my, my kids are amazing. Like, but it's all about association. And this goes for everything and everybody. Even if you are not about to do nothing, sometimes it's the people around you that might get you in the bad situations, whether that's stealing, whether that's whatever the case may be, hanging around people that promote drama all day. And again, my guy did nothing, so I'm not yelling at him. But I just thought that was a teachable moment for all of us because we gotta be careful who we hang around, man. I've had to cut some people off in my own personal life who got me some negative results in life. So just uh, you know, be mindful who you kick it around, who you spend your time with, because certain people could get you into trouble even if you ain't doing nothing, only by affiliation. Four. Hold on, hold on. We having a very interesting conversation, and I wanna know what y'all think. Would you rather have wet socks what? or wet pants? I'm giving what the camera to Deuce. About, Deuce, man? tell her what you think. Socks. You would rather have wet socks? 100%. Kenny, what would you rather have? Wet socks. Wet socks? Like, I don't want to sit down and have wet pants. That's nasty. So Kenny said he would rather have wet socks. See, I, I'm a little different, man. 
I would rather have wet pants on. I cannot stand wet socks. I would rather cut my whole leg off than to walk around in wet socks. Let me know what y'all think. All right, y'all. It's almost 5 o'clock, and we are down to four items left on the to-do list. So um, I couldn't post the A74 video because it didn't get approved. Uh, they just haven't got to it yet, so can't complete that one. The second one says film reel for Terry Warfield and Kingdom Man. I do have a real idea for the Terry Warfield channel, but the Kingdom Man channel, I try to not force content. So whenever I feel like, and I don't mean to make this all spiritual and stuff, but I try not to make videos on that channel until I feel like the Holy Spirit put something on me. So today I don't really feel like... You know, God told me to spread a message today, so I'm going to skip the Kingdom Man reel for today. Got the homework, and we got more coffee on there. So here's my idea for the reel I'm about to post, right? So I don't know if any of y'all are basketball fans, but Russell Westbrook, about nine years ago, made this video clip. Did you guys lose this game, or did the Jazz win this one? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? So I'm thinking about making a video either like comparing like when somebody says they prefer a f4 lens over f2.8 lens or something like when a client asks to lower my prices or something like that just something funny that i could whip up real quick because we running out of time and i still got to go back and grab my wife because her car is in the driveway they dropped it off to her but she's still at work so i got to grab her then come back and do homework and then make coffee and then probably gonna play some video games tonight to be honest with you man it's been a long day so Let's go ahead and shoot this reel. All right, I'm actually going to make this into like a Canon versus Sony thing. So look, I got my FX3 set up right here. I'm about to do a horizontal one and I'm going to do a vertical one because I want to post one on Twitter. So all I'm going to do is download the little music. You know, I ain't, don't tell nobody. I'm going to download it off YouTube and I just say here and I didn't, you know, played it like 40 times so I could get the words down. And then I'm just going to, you know, put a little caption on it that says, when people say Canon is better than Sony or some crap like that, I mean, no system is superior to the other. They all had their, you know, pros and cons. But hey, we got to stir up some drama, so let's get it. All right, all right, I think I got it. Let me put it on the screen for y'all. When you hear people say Canon is better than Sony. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. I'm stripping. Hey, that reel actually came out fire. Why you bump me like that? Here we go. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Talia ditched me for mommy with her homework. I didn't want to do my homework with mommy. But it actually worked out because I totally forgot that uh, one of the ministries I'm in at 8.30, we have a meeting because I have to leave tomorrow morning on our prayer call. So that works out. And I still have uh, two products to get added to my digital store before it can launch. And I'm trying to work on the course also. So I still got stuff to do tonight. So let's go ahead and get that done. So the first thing is like some, the first thing I wonder before I had did the research is why didn't he ride a horse? Like it was horses everywhere. Why didn't he ride a horse? And because riding a horse is symbolic of being a conqueror or some type of leader of usually some type of military organization or military strength. Um, and although Jesus was in charge, that's not what he wanted to portray. He was he was the leader, but he wasn't a conqueror. So that was the first thing. The second thing is riding on a donkey is also symbolic of meekness. It's symbolic of, hey, I'm coming in peace. I'm coming without arms. I'm coming uh, humble. You know, there's a phrase that we always say, like, bro, get off your high horse. You know, and for me, it kind of rang a bell. Like how many times in life have we, you know, kind of rode through life on our high horse? And is that really the message that we want to give to our friends, our family? Uh, or do we want to do we want to ride like Christ and ride meek and ride, you know, ride on the donkey, uh, so to speak? Wow. So so for you, bro, to be able to break down three points that really cover 12 through 19, like that's just crazy, crazy growth, bro. You're going to continue to learn. You're going to continue to grow. And some young dude going to jump on the call a year from now or something like that. They're going to hear you breaking down scripture. They're going to be like, man, Terry, I don't know how you break down scripture like that. So, bro, just seeing your growth, man, that's amazing. All right, it's almost 10 o'clock. And to be honest, your boy is kind of tapped. It's been a long, unforgiving day. And yet, here I am still trying to get... All of this in order.
So I really need to finish making these boxes for my online store, which I will have going live in the next few days. But um, yeah, I actually think going to call it quits for tonight and play some Horizon Forbidden West. So listen, um, I appreciate all of y'all who stayed to the end of this video. I know my life is not anything super epic, super intense, <laughs> super fun to watch, but you know, it's just the day in the life of a father, I'm a full-time father, um, and I grind all day long, whether it's in the gym, whether it's for my family, uh, whether it's on YouTube, you know, all of that stuff, man, the grind never stops. The only way you can get success is to go get it, and that's what I'm chasing, so um, I appreciate all of y'all's support. And I hope this video was enjoyable for you. And uh, leave a comment, and I will see y'all on the next video. Till next time, I'm out of here. Tyson, Terry Warfield, Peace and Chicken Grease. I'm out. Peace.